A uh, excellent player who leads the team in ER at, and wins and losses. That leads the team uh, and is one of the nation's top pitchers. She has this weekend, as you see, there's a three pitch strikeout. We may see that several times today. When Kegel is on, she is on. The player as well. Number 52 on the season for Kegel. He gets to that point in the season. It's another swing and a minute. Close game. Uh, but for himself like a veteran ball club and the results have been like a veteran ball club. Yeah, man, that's no doubt about it. There's going to be a chopper second. Got to hurry as five has got some wheels and it was a nice play by field and they've did a good job of going out and finding uh, mm -hmm. uh, Clemson has one of the fastest outfields in the south. You, they, they really move well out there together. That's ground is going to stay fair. Davenport. Easy pickings for her. And on the in the circle. He's in there. My aggressive player, but uh, this is one of my favorite players to watch in all the college softball. Oh, and get one be open for business now. So if you're if you're Stidham, you better be careful. Stidham out of Saginaw, Texas. Three one. And nowhere near five for six and stolen bases this year is Mackenzie Clark. So chopped short, gonna have to hurry. Nicholson and here she goes deep into the hole, makes a great backhand, gets her legs planted to throw. And a good place to be. And doubles with five. Sharply hit over the shortstop's head. The throw home is going to be not cut off, but McKinley. It's got a 2 0 count. Nobody out still. Stidham having some trouble in the circle. And that ball's popped up. McLaughlin calls everybody off. Field fly out rules in effect. You have to wonder. Stidham's got, I think, a throw down to second. Snap throw down there. Pitch, one out. Foul back. Make a play, Nathan. Got it. Ugh. They do. That ball is sent fairly deep, but playable by Goodrum. One run will score. Gardner Webb gets out of this with just two runs scored. And that's going to go. Off the bat foul, no one going to be able to get there from the running ball. 3-2. Stidham's going to have a straight. Second, the Big South in doubles per game. Yeah. Yes. And, Scott, she's top 10 in the nation and toughest to strike out, but she just got K'd. Yeah. Well, again, this is a uh, different type of uh, circle. <laughs> than what Gardner Webb has seen thus far. Now what? Flat footed on yeah. that one. Here's Christopher, first pitch swinging. Logaleo easily on Leo. Keeps moving right through the play, <laughs> makes a fine throw. That makes That ball's opposite field to foul. So scheduled to ske start at 5 p.m. as they move the games up an hour because of some rain. Yeah. Everything. I have no idea why I know this, but you know, you, you just sometimes have these stat. You recognize these stats you never see. Right. Uh, in a game versus Ohio State, earlier wiped out the uh, the cycle in one inning. Two two. It's a long career. Yeah. Swing in a minute. Six up, six down. Continue to lead. Up here, strike zone. <laughs> Leading off 8:33 here in this third of the way. 14 hits, three doubles. Coach Ritman is down there going, "I wish you'd have hit that one, Reedy." University's pops it up. It's Fort Myers. University. That's going to go right to the first baseman in an easy play by Moore on Kegels. That's going to be fouled off. Easy time. Uh, Here's the 0-2.
Didn't mean to. And she gets the bat through the zone so well. Where it, all right, she's gonna get underneath one and foul it off. That one's foul. Rooting. These, these girls have great demeanor about them. Very, very confident. Just a sophomore, I'm looking at her, and she doesn't play like that. One ball, two strikes. Stidham spins the ball. Ball high, 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> Calling He's my three-year-old grandson, Wyatt. Oh, no kid. He, uh, he's really good with numbers. Better than you, certainly. Alex. Oh, gosh, yes. 2-2, two -two, swung on and missed. Out of Tucson, Arizona, takes a strike. Looking for her 10th hit. She squares the ball. But Dane is still relatively young. She does try and bunt that one, fouls it. That's it what your stuff on yeah. your television. Yeah, from my phone, just cast it right. You just cast it right out there, huh? Yeah. Different kind of cast, I know. Well, <laughs> yeah. your, your 13 inch black and white will do it too, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Loom it up. Cagle facing Byzantine with two outs, two one. That pitch might have been off, but it was a pretty good. Pretty good pitch. This this foul ball yep. right there. Oh, it got it went off of the right Peter the up. left leg where there's no padding. Right. Grant to the transfer from Grand Canyon. And she's third. And she's kept her team in this game. Total bases. Yeah, 55 of them. Through 16 games of the bunch. I mean, it's that good. Second, the ACC in batting average coming into this afternoon at 5.09. She's lifting. Appreciate what they have in this person because players like Cagle are not there every year. Blooped into left, and it's broadcast. I think I'm going <laughs> to bum myself up. I continue to chase down the infield fly rule. That one bounces up. This will be our 69th pitch. And we're in the third inning only. 2 0. It's going to be grounded. Nicholson on to second, but she throws it away. And another, maybe two. Yep. Plate two of them. And Vieira slides it. Uh, so here's the throw from Nicholson. Yep. The second baseman can't let this one get, get through. Of course, she no. did have a runner underneath her. Right. So it's a tough play. No. Throw on the first side. We know Caleb, uh, Cagle, Jacobson, and Logaleo come home to score. Air sharper when they hit it, but can you, so they've really helped Clemson. Right. Hi, it was part of Buford's 5A championship. She squares the bunt, run, comes home. Joe, a lot of people may ask you, why are they sacking and squeezing? With a, a five run lead was simple. You see that gets through. I mean, they had no chance of getting high, But what they're doing there is ball, not, not, nothing. It just saves you two innings. Yeah. Get For the you, players and yeah, the arms and the. Get you and me home quicker, particularly the production crew. Runs on the board for the Tigers. Two and 2021 and sharply hit to left field. Single for Davenport. Ansley Houston will be at first, running for Davenport. I'd actually rather talk about the uh, infield fly rule. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. With runners on, they end up scoring two runs and came back and won that ball game. How about that? In eight innings. That'll get back. She struck out looking. Her last at bat, she's going to ground it to second on to the shortstop for one. Her face is just exceptional. Here's Valerie Cagle started this inning with a double. She's going to send one deep to left field. It gets up in that overcast sky. Very tough play. Lion goes down with runners on. McLaughlin couldn't. Just right now, when you're Valerie Cagle in this situation, you rear back and throw. You're now five outs away from ending this game. Clara White. Wyatt. Clara Wyatt in the bullpen warming up for the running Bulldogs. And then the young lady they have here uh, from down in Georgia, Brooke. She 
Yeah, I think she held up. Slugging over a thousand. Oh, fouled off just past the on deck hitter. It's the difference between youth and age. The on deck hitter just laughing her head off. <laughs> I, I would have to uh, be. Now, I don't recall netting being uh, in play when you were coaching. No, at the end of my career, that came did in. They? At okay. the end of my career, it did. Yeah. Ground ball, can roll foul. Leads the big south and home runs. She's got a good battle going on here. Now this is a Kegel has not used her off speed pitch a lot today. I think that uh, the hitter could be very, Lion could be very susceptible to a changeup. Grounded to third. One Give up a walk. Grounded. More to May, and that will end Gardner Webb's threat. So we head to the bottom of the fourth. Clemson Tigers in control. PM. Don't know that we'll get there. Nope. Ground ball sharply. Garcia up with it. Fires on to first base for out. But uh, they've got a very you know selfless group here at Clemson. They've got a lot of people. Who Second base. One ball, one strike with a runner on and nobody out. That ball sent out to center field and Clark. She struck out back in the second. But is she being re-entered? She must be being re-entered. Oh, no, we had oh, a pinch you know runner. They, they changed runners. Got a pinch. Yeah, 23 players listed on the over. Just one out in the inning. And that is a bunt. Going to get the runner over. And, boy, she got the line and made it. That's a lot of uh, grounded out to uh, third, her first at bat back in the second. She's going to pop it up and can Houston just. They're right there. She dies. She's proud of that dive. Yeah, I got my out of that puppy. Grounded. Houston on to first. And that'll be and that'll be it. Clemson has won this one on a run rule. Eight nothing over Gardner Webb. There's a ground ball. Does what you're supposed to do. She moves right through the play, gets under it, gets her body squared. Over to Kegel. Puts game one. Clemson now 7-0 at home. They are 16 and 1 on the season.